Whew, what's going on guys? Um, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of debated whether I wanted to make this video or not. I'm kind of just gonna jump straight into it. Something that's been on my heart or my mind for a while, I'm pretty sure likewise with a lot of you guys, uh, friends versus enemies. <clears throat> for one, what I would like to start off by saying first is recognizing who is your true and number one friend, which I believe to be your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. You know, God, the Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. That is your number one friend, followed by, you know, maybe one of your parents, somebody close in your circle, you know, people that actually have your back and your best, best interests at heart. Somebody that will, in my belief, true friends to me, in my belief, true friends to me, as they say, somebody that will quote unquote ride or die, somebody that will lay their life on the line for you, such as Christ did. That's what a true friend is to me. And I understand you may have, have levels of people that you may expect for them to look out for you more than others, depending on the situation. Number one, a true friend, that is, and that is God, that is Christ. Second is recognizing, and a lot of people may, a lot of, especially young people may not catch on to this, recognizing who the enemy is. I don't mean the person that owes you money, the person you got beat up by last week, the person you may have quote unquote beef with. I don't mean the person that, you know, took your girlfriend or your man or the person that cheated on you. When I say enemy, I mean darkness, dark principalities, the devil, his legion, demons, anything that represents darkness or the lack of God, the absence of Christ, that is your enemy. Me personally, what I wanna share with you guys in terms of my testimony and dealing with darkness and what I consider the enemy. I have a group of guys that I've been hanging with for a little over a year now. Last year, last fall, I had an altercation, kind of an altercation with one of the guys. He threatened me. I'm gonna keep it plain and simple, he threatened me. And it's nothing crazy, nothing I feel truly offended. Well, I felt offended by it in terms of the flesh. In a carnal sense, I felt offended, but spiritually I knew and I recognized that this man really and truly did not want to hurt me, but the dark principalities that be at play in that situation did. They wanted to hurt both of, both of us, both him and I. <clears throat> and it's funny because earlier in the year, this young man, which I, I love, man, he's a good dude. Funny as all, man, funny as all get out. So. Early in the year, he actually questioned me in front of the other guys. He, he asked me, he's like, bro, he stood up and beat up in front of everybody. Not like people were paying attention like that, but amongst our group, he stood up and he asked me, he's like, bro, I just want to know, are we friends? Or are we homies? Like, what's, you know, let, let, let us know, give us an update. Now, mind you, at this time, I had only known these guys for maybe two, three months something like that something it wasn't long enough to the point where I considered them or put them on the level of people I actually hold close to my heart you know from being around all throughout my life having different experiences that's what I think in terms of like you know humans not God but that's what I think builds true friendships or having people around you that you've actually experienced things with whether it's a tragedy and you've you know grown and moved through it whether it was somebody who's continued to do good and great deeds for you with uh, no intentions or ulterior motives on benefiting off of you or, you know, just somebody that actually genuinely cares about you. That's a big word, caring. People act like they don't care nowadays and that's, that's weak to me. God gave you a heart, use it. What you afraid to use it for? So anyway, so this guy stood up. He asked me, are we friends or homies? And I told him straight up in front of the whole group. I said, we're still homies, you know? Friendship is earned. And he respected that. He respected that. Now, fast forward throughout the summer, man, we I hung with these guys. We had a great time. I kind of felt in my spirit, him and another guy in the group, that something was eventually going to happen, not because of them as individuals and who they are because they're good people, but spiritually, when God or when the devil recognizes a great or good thing going on, especially when a person of Christ is involved, which I consider myself, the devil comes right away to kill, steal, and destroy it. So later that year, you know, things break out. Words were exchanged, threats were made. I never threatened him as a man. You know, I stick to my principles. I believe you give respect and you receive it, you know, but I, I also understood the underlying issue and that's that spiritually, uh, 
people, including myself, we're dealing with a lot. Especially when the devil is constantly attacking you. And this man, this young man I'm talking about, not just him, but people in general. You never know where people come from, what they were dealing with, you know, until, until things actually break out. And you start to see like, wow, it's actually deeper than me. It's deeper than him, you know. And what you do is you pray and you continue to love friends versus enemies. The one, the number one enemy is the devil. That's it. You continue to love. You do what God wants you to do. It's seen as honorable. I, I was just on Twitter about it the other day. It's seen as honorable. So you stick to it. You stick to your guns. And it doesn't make you weak. I'm probably one of the toughest people I know. But I'm also one of the loving, most loving people I know. So I'm not going to make this video too long. I just wanted to, you know, tune in and give you guys something different. I'm in the Mustang right now. Normally, I've kind of been uploading car videos lately to my channel. But I wanted to switch it up because I do have... I feel a genuine message to get across, friends versus enemies, you know, recognize the real, recognize the real, like to say real recognizes real, recognize the real, you know, break down the situation, understand who you're around, understand the underlying spiritual activity that's, that's going on around you, be aware, like don't get caught up in the bull, the bull all the time, being on social media, Twitter, Facebook, world, uh, world star hip hop, all that stuff's cool, man, but that stuff comes and goes, you know? Yeah, so, friends versus enemies. 